Welcome to my world. 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 Today we're going to make a seven can of soup from your pantry, but I updated and tweaked it a little bit. It's only going to be four cans. I'm going to add a fresh onion, ground beef, and celery to the soup. My version, you're going to need a can of tomato soup, a diced can of tomatoes, green beans, and mixed vegetables, either frozen or canned, one onion, a couple of celery stalks, a couple of bouillon cubes, and depending on your family size and who's going to be eating it within your family, either 8 to 16 to ounces of beef. We're going to brown the beef in my Dutch oven first, and we're going to get the Dutch oven going. Then we're going to add the onions and celery. Then slowly add the cans and then the boiling cubes to add water to make the broth. If you're new, smash on that subscribe word for easy dinners that are dump and go that come right from your pantry shelves to be frugal and budget friendly and to use what you already have so you're not constantly running to the store spending money on gas and buying other items that you may have not have needed. We're going to get the ground beef going. I'm going to spray it lightly. Use whatever type of beef that you have. I happen to have some of these left. And I wanted to get them used up. We had a huge rainstorm yesterday and it's windy today. He's going to be slightly frozen. You're going to adjust your heat down to low because you don't want to fry the beef. And we're going to get it cooked and break it down with my meat masher. I add in a couple teaspoons of fresh black cracked pepper. I'm going to let that cook a little more before we continue to mash it. In the meantime, let's get that onion and celery prepped. I'll try to talk on a slow, non monotone voice and clearly so you may understand. Adjust your volume accordingly. Get this thrown onto the beef and check it to see if we can break down Over further. Over to the Dutch oven. I'll put those onions in momentarily. And I broke it down as so. It was slightly frozen. Maybe a little more. In the future, I didn't think to, you can spray your masher and it won't stick. I'm going to roughly cut the celery all the way through and dump it in the Dutch I'll oven. Let this continue to cook until it's completely browned. I'm going to throw in the onion. I just roughly chopped my onion. It's browning nicely. Get that celery on. We're going to 
stir everything in the Dutch oven before we start adding the cans and the, some water. And then finally the bouillon cubes. It is perfect for soup today. We'll start with the pop from the top cans. I just like to say that. Pop from the top. Everything, including its joists, the organic belly is from a Dollar Tree, and then and the entire can of tomato soup. Also from Dollar Tree. Jump in your boiling cubes. I am using two. I buy them bulk at our local BJ's, which is similar to a Costco's. Go ahead and mix that in together with all of the beef and the celery and the onions. If you have carrots, you can even add carrots, but there's carrots in the mixed vegetables, so I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to fill the water about three quarters of the way full, like we would the crock pot. My speedy mug from Central Perk. Two to three cups. Now we're going to rinse and drain the other vegetables and add them in and let it simmer. Dump them on in. Always be careful, especially when it gets jarred like that. You don't want to get cut. I rinse all my trash and wash it thoroughly and keep it in the back room until, until it's enough for a video, for our empties videos for a Dollar Tree and Walmart, which I now combined into one video. Then everything goes into the recycle bin and gets recycled. Sometimes we reuse tin cans for tra uh, trash to treasure cracks. There's a couple of other bigger YouTubers that do Dollar Tree empties and saves their trash. Get that on in to the Dutch oven. Saving time by rinsing them and dishes together. It's going to be a beautiful soup. I only did eight ounces of beef because I don't know if my husband will eat this. And my daughter Jacqueline might. If my son was home, he would eat it. And I'm going to give some to my neighbor who loves my cooking. Puts all my soups and stews and casseroles. I'm going to get that turned back up to... 2.4. You're going to let it gurgle. And once it's gurgling around the rim of your Dutch oven, you're going to turn it back down to low and cover it and let it simmer. I recently tweaked the seven can soup recipe that calls for beef and several cans from your pantry shelves. Got it down to a few cans, added in celery and onion as you saw and then put my own little touches in it with the bouillon cubes and to make the broth rather than a boxed or canned broth and it's going to smell amazing in your house all day very easy to do weeknight friendly busy night friendly family friendly here's close up it's not quite starting to gurgle along the side so you're going to just let it sit once it starts to gurgle you're going to cover it and let it simmer that is starting to gurgle so turn it to low and then you're going to cover it just zoomed in so you can see a close-up look at how awesome this looks the four can of soup with fresh celery and onion with bouillon cubes rather than canned broth use whatever you have available and you can replicate this soup if you'd like, you can do 16 ounces of beef or even more, depending on your family size. The soup will feed four with leftovers, pennies to the dollar for a great six to seven ingredient soup. Them, and then I'm going to try it.
Here's what it looks like close up. All the vegetables and the beef. Perfect for a blustery day with the wind. Let's go ahead and try it. So be very careful as well with the bowl. So I grabbed a pot holder. Look at that. Awesome. Let's give this a try. If you have nice and thick crusty bread, that would be perfect to pair with this. You can even top potato chips or croutons on it. Mm. This is really good. And we did it on a budget. We tweaked it, lowered the can count, just stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck, save you money. Try this easy soup. Everything that you need to know to make it will be in my description box down below. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We're not responsible as we're still in prices through the mail. All the information is down below. We're looking for 17 people to give out a five items prize pack from Dollar Tree valued at $6.25. Or you can choose a gift card that is a new way we revamped the system for the giveaways. You need to be subscribed to the United States residents. The email is countryboots1268 yahoo.com. If you'd like to be a part of our newsletter, send me an email and we'll add you in. We're waiting for approval from the people for the email app. Thank you for your continuing ongoing support. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy holidays, everybody.